Hello guys, today we are going to talk about Z fixes art. But wait, you ask, didn't you already create a video on Z like less than a week ago? <laughs> Why are you doing it again? Thank you, voice in the distance. Well, I did make a video on them that summarized my thoughts pretty clearly, however and unfortunately, my thoughts have changed. You see, my video was framed around the idea that Z was just a troll, so I didn't really go that hard on them. It just didn't seem like it was worth it if they were really doing it solely for attention. So I lightly critiqued it and moved on. Then Z privated their Twitter. This action had me confused. Flabbergasted. Puzzled. Why would a troll who posts things like this ever private their social media? They feed off the attention, right? Like, that, that's why we're here. I needed to find out the truth. Who was he really? Troll or not troll? My first line of action was infiltrating the base. It was a difficult task. Once I breached the security system, I was in. I ran through the halls of tweets making sure to keep silence while the mass blocking of people who disagreed took place. I continued to snoop. I soon came to realize a community of people were going under Z. They were their god, my guys. Their god! They pledged their allegiance to Z as they shared each other's botched redraws of characters that used to be memorable. Who were these people now? Z's facade, it never dropped. Not once. Guys, Z is not a troll. They are real. Z is real. Before I dive into the deep end though, I want to show you guys what added 10 years to my life. This is the cutest thing I have ever seen. Follow me on Instagram, my account's practically dead, but I'm trying. Also, cursed by a sheep, I am sending good vibes your way because this is so cute to the point of angering me. Now time to dive right back into the hot mess of the situation. <laughs> Just wanted to give you guys a bit of a breather. Now, don't send hate Z's way, they're just one person, and at the end of the day, despite how much the art hurts my peace of mind, it's not physically hurting anyone, so let's all be cordial and not send any hate their way, okay? All the people subscribed to me seem pretty chill, so I'm confident we're on the same page when I say that. Anyway, this kind of art kind of rubs me the wrong way. Knowing that this is a real attempt at diversity, and not just a reddit troll trying to make the left look bad or something, is so much worse. And to the people that are worshipping Z and what they are doing, stop. Please. I am about to let you know why this entire thing is horrible and it's honestly kind of scary how many people think what, that what they're doing is a good thing. Number one. Let's start with the obvious one. Don't fix characters. Well, critiquing a character is fine. And if the design of the character is inherently problematic, sure. Look at Kanery's original design compared to the one in the 2011 anime. That is a correction that needed to be made. And I also see a lot of people correcting that racist caricature from The Promised Neverland. I never watched The Promised Neverland because of that, because I just can't get past the fact that, really, what is this? So these are the few instances where an artist could use the criticism if it's just poor character design or if it's offensive. This doesn't apply to personal art, by the way, just mainstream animation. But what is Z fixing here? Pell skin? That's not problematic. If you want to add diversity, or pretend you're adding it with fan art, I a thousand percent get that. But if, you're, if your point of doing this is representation, many goals are missed. Because while minorities want to be seen, we don't want to be seen like this. I lightly touched on this in my last video, but I'm really tired of seeing dark skin conflated with these kind of drawings. Colorism is a thing that affects a lot of African and Asian communities. It is the belief that lighter skin is more feminine and beautiful, while dark skin is the opposite. The fact that your desexualization checklist includes dark skin is incredibly racist. You can make the point of not sexualizing women without changing their race, because doing both just muddles the message. And number two, I'm gonna cut straight to the chase and ask why do you say that you're anti-fat phobic instead of just pro-fat? This may seem like a mute point, but phrasing is everything, and I think that it's interesting how Z says this. They do have pro-fat in their bio, but a lot of their other posts say anti-fat phobic. Well, what's the difference? It just shifts the focus. What do you think of when you hear an anti? Somebody who's more concerned with hate than love. And I get concerned when I get concerned when people say they're antis when what looks like an overall positive message, but it shows that the majority of their focus isn't really on the right thing. Like anti-shippers for instance. Rather than promoting the ship they like, they just bully the people who ship the opposite. There's a few cases where being an anti actually makes sense. Like, let's say you're an anti-racist or anti-child abuse. 
But for the most part, people in those cases don't say that they're anti those things, they just say they're a human with basic intelligence and morals. By using anti, you've claimed quite an aggressive position that there isn't anything wrong with being against fatphobia, I def but I definitely think you come across as anti more than pro. And my final point, uh, number three, my okay, and argument number three, if anyone watching this truly cares about plus size or dark skinned people, don't go out of your way to make them targets. And that's another unfortunate reality of changing a character from one demographic to the other. You're going to have outrage from the people who prefer the original design. And that could leave a demographic getting backlash they didn't ask for. I kind of felt this way when Haley when Haley was casted as Ariel. When I first heard the news, I thought it was kind of cool and was extremely surprised by Disney's decision. Then the hate rolled in, the not my Ariel hashtag rolled in, the racism rolled in. And then you put the people you were intending to promote in the middle of the line of fire between a group of people who wanted a more accurate portrayal of their movie and people who wanted positive representation. And also racist people jumped in. We can't forget that. You're anti fat phobia, but your actions inadvertently caused a lot of fat phobia by depicting them this way, which is another reason that fixing things isn't quite as effective as producing your own work. If you're legitimately trying to create representation, it's all negative. So have you actually done the opposite of what you tend to do? Now you have this woe is me mindset for some reason, but you didn't really leave a positive impact because of the way you depict a plus size in dark skinned people in your art. I've seen this done well, but this really isn't it. Representation is important, but negative is worse than none. This is probably, this is probably my last video on Z. I wanted to update my opinion on the situation. Guys, do you still think Z is a troll? Are you unwilling to come to terms with the fact that people like this actually exist and you'd also have to acknowledge the humanity spiraling out of control? Let me know your opinions in the comments! Don't forget to like and subscribe!